Good day, how is it going? So, as I promised to make some cool videos, uh, I mean to take some interviews or not make only my personal opinion about the dietary, trainings and so on. So please welcome Artyom, full-time fitness model. So how to be the fitness model, the full-time? Well, it's my passion, I really like it. So it's not really like my job, but um, plus it's my passion. Your lifestyle? Yeah. But is it easy to do? Um, right now it's COVID. <laughs> it's not not so good time for this, but I still keep my training and of course my diet. And I work out every day, sometimes twice a day, running in the park. I run in Lumpini Park a couple times a week, plus work out in the gym. Yeah, sorry for the silly questions. Usually people said, oh, you have a cool genetics, so you're just born like that, fit, so you need to do anything. So that's why you are like different and look so special or whatever. Yeah, but basically, if you are, let's say, full time fitness model, this means no day off, no breaks. You always working hard and you need to deserve it. It's not just like you, hmm, OK, I just changed my food and I'll be fine. And for example, probably I'll make another interview with some bodybuilders. Um, so they have like competitions once in two, three months, so you can afford yeah, yeah. for gain weight, yeah, yeah, yeah. get exactly. a bit fat, and after you get lean, and for you you have like call on next day, okay, you have a photo shoot or video shoot like tomorrow, and yeah, it it's exactly, ready. it's exactly what I see. Like um, I also do personal trainer jobs, and um, I combine combine both together, like fitness modeling and personal training, uh, some movie jobs. So I always have to be in the shape. And it's about genetic. I don't have a good genetic. Yeah, I have to work really hard. So when the people ask me like, "Oh, you really feed? Why you have to diet?" I always say that, um, yeah, I'm, as long as I diet, I look good. But if I stop and I do just wherever I want, eat wherever I want, I'm not gonna look the same. <laughs> I think everyone, but I heard from many guys who look super fit, they said, oh, I didn't born like that, I've been fat when I was a kid and I didn't have like really cool genetics, but if you just spend a little bit time for it, yeah, you can get it. And probably yeah. another like super stupid questions, but like people always ask, and I do as well, so if someone looks cool, I always ask like, what do you eat, what's your dietary? So basically, what do you eat right now? Um, I always experiment. Yeah, and um, right now I do some kind of uh, intermediate fasting. So I try to eat only a couple hours a day. So I eat probably once a day. So you do like 18 uh, to 8, or 16 to 8, no, no, or no, 20 I, to 4? I do 22 to 2 hours oh right now. Oh my god, this is super it's, tough. It, it's okay because um, during the day I still take... Uh, it's, fasting but it's in my own way I still take some amino acid I don't uh -huh. consume any calorie during the day okay. but I can have some vegan amino acid before and after workout all right all right and it's almost no have calorie but the real meal I probably gonna have around um, 10 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. and until midnight so I eat probably oh, really? so late sleep. usually people try and make it in the morning on the daytime uh, for me it's always it I eat before sleep so when I sleep I can recover and during the day I burn everything mm -hmm. and during the day I feel more active if I my stomach is really empty and also come back to uh, your previous question about the personal trainers in and also the competition when the um, some athletes they just get in the shape only before competition and then they find the clients like when they use all the picture or the trophy you know when mm -hmm. they win first place yeah they know how to prepare themselves only for one day you know but they doesn't know how to stay in the shape all, the all time. year yeah they are really like saying they, they do cardio three hours a day they eat like only protein you know they feel so shit and then on the competition that take those pictures and then the, in, on social media they post them they don't post any picture right but of the look right now you know and then they doesn't know they're trying to train the clients who is um, 
want to look all the time at the shape and it doesn't really work, you know? Well, and probably if people who train all the time, they're supposed to know everything about the dietary. But a different style of training. So same, I want to make interview with the guys who do like a marathon and the super marathon. So yeah. they diet really completely different. They always try to eat a lot of carbs, fast carbs, because need the energy like right now. And like uh, people who train for men's physique or bodybuilding. So yeah, the aim is different. So you have like three months for preparation, get the first place, whatever. The same like if you do crossfit or MMA, everything is totally different. So yeah. it's really interesting for just ask a different, uh, uh, let's say athletes and their opinions, regimes and so on. But I think yeah, for be like in a healthy lifestyle, you just manage your activity and food. Yeah, but uh, I try to always experiment. I try to do different sports. Right now, my focus um, I do fitness, I do yoga, and I also start to do running. So I try to increase my maximum distance for run. And um, before I can run only 10 kilometers. Like, I don't know why, I know it's very small distance, but uh, in Bangkok it's really hot and humid. So it's really hard still. And I, before I was a vegetarian, so I still have a whey protein. I drink a lot of milk. This has been around like five years ago. Yeah, I don't have any eggs, but I still drink milk. And my maximum was limit is 10 kilometer. Right now I'm vegan, so I don't have any dairy, like no milk, no cheese, obviously no uh, whey protein. And plus I do fasting. Yeah, I, normally I run in the evening and all day I don't eat. And I can run no problem, I can run 15 kilometers. So I experiment with um, uh, plant-based diet. And actually I discovered that um, if you do like bodybuilding, maybe it's hard for you to build a lot of muscle uh, with vegan diet. You can look fit, but if you want to be really big and round, maybe, uh, yeah, it's not, this diet not suit you. But for marathon runners, for MMA fighters who really need in, in like last There's longer, endurance. yeah, endurance and last longer, and uh, they can be pretty much like slim and really good. Like you have a more e energy, your muscle doesn't get stuck. Your cardio and actually for your heart is much better. So I, right now I try to run like uh, once a week. I try to uh, check my maximum. So I like few days ago I run like no problem for me 15. I could done more. Yeah, when this week I maybe I will try to run like 20 kilometer. I never done this before, but I feel I can do it. And uh, yeah, but with um, I try to always experiment, try different things. I never stuck on the same thing, but it's still everything in the um, uh, in the vegan diet. Yeah, I don't try to eat fish or meat. Different just about my fasting. Uh, about the salt, if uh, I have to eat salt before training or I don't have to, if I have to eat a little bit carbs or fat before workout. And um, yeah, I try to experiment, trying new things and see the result. Right, from my experience, I get best endurance possible, I guess, on raw food diets. I but, do raw, only raw yeah, right but now always feel hungry and working with weights is quite complicated no, but, no you problem. but feel quite good working with your own weight running is quite good but now i not run big distances with my weight category but before running marathon by the way you know ivan yeah uh, yeah of course triathlon. yeah he go to the triathlon competitions like every week yeah oh, so you just so even not have enough time for recover from previous yeah, yeah, yeah. one and you go to the next one so yeah. it will be cool to catch him up when he will be available. Yeah, so, uh, but you not eat meat like how many? Five years? Longer? No, eight years. Eight but years. I, I was first start with a uh, vegetarian diet. Uh -huh. So I don't have uh, uh, eggs, but I have um, still milk. Mm -hmm. And later on, I um, just try. It was very hard actually to change from um, like from stop to drink milk, it's very very hard. I try many times, and like back and forward. Then I moved to California. There it was easy because have a lot of supplements, a lot of food, um, like different kind of uh, plant-based milk. So it's like there. I 
changed completely. This is like three years ago. So last three year I um, I completely vegan. And also I do like uh, first I did um, I eat what of rice and right now I trying uh, eat more raw food mm -hmm. and I um, eat a lot of dry fruits. So oh, okay. especially if you question about the hunger, mostly I eat dates um, like dry dates, uh, dry bananas, dry manga, mm -hmm. and a lot of different nuts and seeds like Brazilian nuts, almond. Um, Macadamia, so it's um, a lot of calories, small amount, but yeah, a lot yeah. of calories. Small it's, amount of food. Yeah, and it's make you really full. Okay. So, so but you eat like normal fruits as well, fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I do like every day, combine all together. So yeah. most of your food is seeds, nuts, dried fruits, fruits, vegetables, right? Not much vegetables. Yeah, I feel like I get more nutrition. Sometimes just for the test, but if I really care about nutrition, I'm gonna eat more fruits. Yeah, so I feel more what natural. What about the grains, beans? You eat any grains and beans? Like oats, wheat, if, if I, wheat? Yeah, it's no problem. Uh, but um, if I want to stay in the shape, it's very easy for me to be lean mm -hmm. if I stay under a raw food diet. Even okay. I eat half kilo dates before sleep, Next day I'm gonna wake up like, uh, lean, but if I'm gonna have a rice, uh, it's still healthy, but uh, I'm gonna get bloated. So yeah, because it absorbs more water. Yeah, but if I wanna gain muscle, if I wanna let's say gain more muscle, I'm gonna have a first thing I'm gonna have a lentils and rice mm -hmm. together. I know how to cook it very healthy way, and I can gain like. Easy 10 kilo, you know, from just beans and rice, beans and rice, only this one. It's a lot of good protein. Yeah, it's cool. I usually gain easily way when I eat more carbs. So basically increase calories and I'm fine, but you look not the same shape. <laughs> so how many calories you eat per day, approximately? Ooh, I, I never count much, you but I can't. You don't count calories. Uh, yeah, yeah, but... It's, uh, I don't believe in the calories much, you know, because... Uh, but roughly, like, because if you eat only one meal a day, so you're... From 2,000 to 3,000 calories. Oh, it's a lot for one meal. Yeah, because, like, I consume at least 250 to 300 grams of nuts. Mm -hmm. so okay. Right now, I try to increase uh, fat in my diet. And... Um, do, yeah. you, do you count percentage of how much protein, percent of protein you eat, how much percent of carbs and raw fat? I eat, um, I staying on the low protein diet right now. I try okay. to eat low protein. Low protein, it's uh, how many? 10% from all of the food or? I try to stay not higher than 40, 50 grams a day. Okay, it's really low. So what's the purpose to stay on a low protein diet? Um, I feel like it's better for my kidney and for um, all health. It's like for me, okay. yeah. Because for like for muscle, for recover muscles, you need a lot of amino acids and a lot of proteins. Yeah, yeah. It's everything like in your body. If you make your everything inside you healthier, especially if you take care of your liver, your kidney, you know your colon. You know when you do fasting, mm -hmm. yeah. you have a time to really empty yeah okay. and so you have a um, better like bacteria so also about the protein if you have very high protein it's not good for the kidney and when you're put the stress on the kidney you cannot produce the right hormones same for the liver you know if you eat a lot of processed food um, your liver busy to uh, get rid of all the toxins and all the heavy food that you eat so but yeah, liver also sense. produce a lot of hormones that produce uh, IGF, growth hormone, so it's so, very important. Yeah, so basically your source of protein is nuts, seeds, yeah. beans, I, grains, but it's really, really low amount mm, and no. a little bit of amino acids. Yeah, I, uh, right now it's get easier because you can buy, let's say, BCA, yeah. uh, amino essential acids. amino acid. you can uh, buy them vegan. You know, even in Bangkok, it just come to be available maybe half a year ago, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you can have it, no problem. I probably have around... Vegan, you mean is they don't take it from milk, they take it from pea? Uh, the extract is from like fruits and from plants. Yeah, yeah, now like so much of different kinds of proteins, like coconut protein, pea protein, peanut, rice yeah. protein. Yeah, you have to find your own because um, I don't 
I don't like uh, protein from beans. It's make me uh, bloated. Rice is okay, but the best result I got from coconut. Okay, I never tried that. I try rice uh, protein. I don't really like it. Pea protein, not taste yeah. so. No, no. Soy protein, not so. say so. <laughs> Peanut protein and nut protein, it's okay. I don't know, it tastes okay, it feels okay. Yeah. But still, I use like whey protein sometimes yeah. and egg protein, albumin, cold. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I sometimes I do like I buy uh, organic peanuts mm -hmm. and already uh, it's not rough. So um, the peanuts, if you want to make the peanut butter, mm -hmm. um, you have to buy. Um, already like oven and you can grind them and you can get uh, your own peanut butter and it's also very high protein and I can eat and a good lot fit. yeah good fit. normally I gonna eat it um, before or after my run like when I running the long distance I gonna eat day before or uh, after the run so it's give me good recovery it's very high in um, like healthy calorie high in protein so, and I can feel on my body, like uh, it's actually just peanuts. Maybe some people will say it's not good source of uh, protein, but on my body I feel it's really uh, fill me up in the good way. You know, my muscle look more round and give me more energy, like especially next day. Why you think it's not good? I think peanuts is pretty good source of protein. Um, a lot of people say it's not nuts, it's a beans. And peanuts, it's beans, yeah. yeah. And people are afraid of the bacteria. So, but if you buy uh, a good brand, yeah, and if it's oven, um, so it's no problem. I, I, try I don't myself. know, I think the beans, it's the only food what more more natural because almost all of the grains have uh, some toxins actually it's a natural kind of poison it's yeah, yeah. really complicated question how get rid of it so basically i read a lot of different kind of recipe but still the the source of the solution it's unclear even until now of course the people who produce the food they don't care even the nuts have a like a kind of different uh, poison but with nuts it's a little bit easier you can put it in the water for like 24 hours and yeah, get rid of it but with the grains, different, different story. So I think the beans. People who have a problem with beans for digestion, uh, you need it just little by little, and after you increase the amount, then you can eat it. Same like with milk. People who cannot uh, drink milk, cannot digest, you can just drink like maybe 30 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and after you increase it until your body learn to digest it. But it may take months or two whatever okay so we clear with your source of protein because usually people like oh you're a vegetarian where you take your protein from oh you're gonna die and so yeah. on so basically if you eat seeds beans nuts you'll be fine with your protein but in my case uh all of the recommendation because say, oh you have like one gram uh of protein on one kilo of your weight or even less so it's probably like not enough for being in a good shape and you probably have even less, less than one gram on a kilogram, right? Yeah, I have half, I think, half gram. Zero, yeah. zero point five, yeah. yeah. So it's it's so also like it's for the anti-aging. I does this, so it make your body recycle your own protein. Basically, you recycle the purpose of my fast. Why I do like so many hours of fast is basically you trying to recycle your own cell. Okay. And also, you have a lot of bacteria in your stomach you recycle your own bacteria in the so colon you mean increase the catabolic effect for yeah yeah and then you can build your own body from your own cell you recycle your own cell and just like how the, this theory but i don't know if it works well or not but people they said like oh who done the dry fasting because in dry fasting i don't like you fasting. make like I think it's a really high amount stupid. of catabolic effects. So no, body is trying to good. destroy everything. But I don't like it. Too. I don't feel good. Like one day, more or less okay. No, no. But two or three days, I fully feel like shit. Oh, the good fasting. Yeah, I know how to make you feel good in the fast. It's only one problem. Uh, I does the like, maximum seven day fast. I feel fine. You're not gonna feel hungry. You know and. Um, 
first thing, like you have to consume water for them. And second, you need also minerals. So you need uh, like pink salt or sea salt. Keep the water. Yeah, like sometimes you feel bad and uh, because of you just lack of minerals in your body or you dehydrated. And also, it's very important if you do many days of fasting, you have to uh, clean your colon. So you have to drink some kind of like fit tea that is just make you like flush everything out of your food. Detox herbs. Yeah, and then because if you not clean your colon for long fasting, it can be even it's vegan food. It can be like spoiled. Let's say if you have some kind of fat in your colon for more than one day, it still can be like spoiled and toxic. Yeah. So it's not gonna be healthy fast then. It's already gonna be like your body try to clean out like by liver of this uh, spoiled food from you. So you really have to clean the colon. If okay, you... so yeah, fasting is probably like another quite big topic. So yeah. So many different kinds of techniques. Yeah. But basically AF, like short-term fasting, yeah. is make you like look always lean, right? It's, I am, um, I done this not to be like, it's just for more health reason. You don't need to do it that many hours of fast i do 22 but if you want to just to look like lean level yeah like if you want just look lean uh i think it's enough like 18 hours fast so another six hours you eat or 20 to 4 uh, but it's a little bit more extreme and you're doing like me like 20 i think stuff. 18 to 6 is okay like less, yeah, yeah. less stressful more yeah. easy yeah and when you said like oh seven days no food doesn't yeah. feel hungry, probably most of people will not believe yeah. that. I ever seen possible. So you uh, start fasting like by your own, like one day after increase two days. So you didn't took any course, like didn't had any... I do a lot of research. Okay. And I, um, yeah, like I see different opinions and, uh, but just naturally I was thinking about how it's supposed to be. And when I hear about dry fast, and especially some girls like it, I hear, and they say, oh, I look very lean, I look better. Of course, you know, drink water, you're gonna yeah, lose, lose water, water. Yeah, lose water, yeah. water, but not the fat. But it's opposite, you're supposed to be, uh, like, drink all the time, not not force, but little bit all the time drink, so you're gonna flesh everything out, because you're gonna burn your own fat, you're gonna burn your own, like, uh, old cell and everything your body and you have to flush it out you know from your body so you have to drink good quality of water you can also have if you want can have a, some kind of herbal teas if you like some people they really like it so also very healthy you can have a black coffee without any sugar and not so much but it's also like uh, some people like it but for me i prefer just drink water water with salt and Sometimes uh, I like have apple cider vinegar or coconut vinegar. Personally, I like coconut vinegar. It's, it's better. Okay. So many suggestions if you yeah, want to yeah. be like a super fit. <laughs> yeah, so I guess like everything what you decide to do and change a diet or make a new training, so yeah, just make a good research before to ask other opinion. Maybe it will not work well for you. But anyway, yeah. if you feel not good, you can stop it at any moment. So. Yeah. But I start the same. I make a research. I start like on one day I didn't eat. Next week I didn't eat two days and three days, and then see how it feel like. And so, oh, okay, I feel alright. So probably it's pretty much normal. So I think it's more like about a detox. Yeah. But also you lose a bit of muscle because for yeah, you unfortunate do. truths, uh, body always easy to take amino acids from your muscles than yeah. from the fat but still after you can recover it so when i've been like in uh, hiking for a long time like a week or two weeks yeah. you get skinnier way skinnier but after you come back to normal diet you recover it quite quickly i think same two weeks and you get uh, almost in the previous shape or in the previous shape yeah it's also very important how you're gonna come out from past if you just jump out like and start to eat uh, like a cheat meal first gonna be after fast uh, you're yeah, not gonna get of extra weight and sure. you're not gonna get any good results it's really important how you're gonna come out from past some people like most of the time girls to start from coconut water mm -hmm. i heard and uh, for the guys maybe it's a good thing to start from something like light fruits you know not heavy maybe not even nuts 
It's going to be pretty uh, much heavy. So I, I drink juice and milk yeah. and protein shake. I was okay. Yeah, and I eat fruits. But once I get like uh, new beans, I think it was beans and mm -hmm. rice or something, and I feel so bad and my stomach stopped yeah, yeah. working. Maybe yeah, yeah. for a day, for like 24 hours, I didn't feel good. So, and I didn't eat much. It was just like really small meal. So, uh, for get back to the normal condition, you need like long amount of time. I think even maybe a day or two. Yeah, yeah I, I got this problem and I discovered it myself and now I know what I will not to do it again. Yeah, now we will share it with you, absolutely for free, yeah. basically. I want to try to do one month fasting. Yeah, but um, not in Bangkok. I, you need somewhere like on the beach when you really... Wild can... Island, maybe. Yeah, like if you notice, then if Probably you go on the beach, right. yeah, if you go on the beach, you don't really want to eat much. If you yeah, stay boat. close to the water, you know, you're swimming, you do some activities, and um, if you stay like, no supermarkets around, uh, all this yeah, food. no junk food around, people eating. Yeah, you kind of like, even just normal, you just want to like, eat something right food. Yeah, but I want to try to do one month, but of course you cannot, probably you can't do any work uh, during this time. So if, you, if I have a month where maybe, I can do Maybe relax. some like distance works on the computer. On maybe. computer, yeah. But Hard workout, I don't think so. Yeah, like, you can but do yoga. Swimming, I think it's very good. Swim in the water, so you get some. And I met, sorry, interrupt you. I met one crazy guy. He just want to meditate for one month, and he go. It like was in Indonesia, a lot of small islands. He like 500 meters. He just swim there. It's no people, and was only coconuts. And he stayed there for one month in a tent. One month. Yeah, one month and drink only coconuts. He took a knife, and he said like feel alright, but he didn't that much activity, no work. And he said it's really easy because you don't see any food around. Yeah, yeah. You don't see any advertisement. No other people who can like attract your attention. No food smell. And he said like really easy. But the same, he said like if you stay in a city, even a few days, it's like uh, yeah. quite tough task. Yeah. Okay, let's check the camera. It's still recorded. I hope so. Recording. Yeah. We're still live, also okay. I don't know, I'm so stuck in the recording, just get some new equipment and always uh, stuck or uh, distract or whatever happen. Yeah. yeah, what about the training? So you said you like try almost like all sports possible. Um, I don't I don't really do uh, like uh, sport, I try different kind of workouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I try uh, crossfit, um, just normal fitness, uh, yoga. I do. I like sprinting, running, cycling, and I work out every day. But different, you know. Some days I only run. Some days I only do stretching and. Um, For not get bored. Yeah, uh, yeah, yoga. So it's like trying to kind of uh, like shock your body, and yeah, the best. The result I got when I do it this once in a while, let's say I get better result if I run my maximum distance once a week. Not like I do a little bit every day. So if I do once a week, it's much better. But for the uh, weightlifting, I gonna do it at least, I think, four times a week. So you do the stretching now, like for increase the flexibility, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So you do like different exercises and so on. Yeah, so probably I will not tell you anything new. So it's what I try to prove you. If you ask your opinion of different other sportsmen or athletes, so more or less people will give you the same answers about the food. If you want to be more lean, just cut your calories, increase your activity, so on about the exercises. So uh, I talk to many of guys and just pretty much like uh, opinion the yeah. same, I would say. Yeah, well, you weightlifting, I just saw your trainings. Yeah, by the way, you can uh, sign up for the Instagram or Artyom. I just uh, leave the description down there. And yeah, you do like more pumping, right? For now, you on your fitness, you do like yeah, I, I working with the big weights. Uh, yeah, I try to feel the weight. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, it's sometimes I think make fun. Of, I think they make fun of me you know, in the gym because I um I can lift heavy weight. Yeah, okay. let's say like I can squat maybe over hundred kilo. But people will, will see me maybe with uh, squatting only 40. Yeah? So one thing it yeah, is squat. Yeah, but you don't of reach. Yeah, yeah. And it's also like the way you can feel your muscle. I can squat very heavy, 
but I not feel the muscle, you know, I don't, I can understand what was happening, you know, like what I really use, but I have more control of the weight and uh, like brain muscle connection when I use lighter weight, not too light because I still want to stay not more than like 15 repetition. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but I don't use like heavy weights. And also so you do about like 15, 18 reps? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like a proper pumping. And if you break about the food, the question, uh, so people ask me like why you, uh, first why you start to be vegan. And first I start to be vegan because I get advice from my friends. He's not kind of give me advice, he just say something that is what make me think a lot. He would just say that don't eat anything but can be spoiled and poison you. So any food, if you keep it it's in the sense. room temperature, yeah, and it's after get like rotten, and it can make you really sick, and might be kill you. So if you're gonna take in, just let's say even the white food like eggs, if it's rotten, it probably can kill you easy. Yeah, meat. It's, it's really also interesting idea actually. It can kill you easy. easy. And but if you take foods, it can be spoiled. Maybe it's gonna make you drunk because it's come to be like alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> or probably it's gonna get dry. It's just the first one, and then later on, I just started thinking about. Um, I believe the human body uh, is very uh, like human body and instinct is uh, very unique and smart. So if you know how to listen to your body and your instinct, it's gonna tell you what to do. And um, all the time when I look on certain foods or fruits, I just thinking where it came from and. If I still want to eat, when I just thinking, where is like if we talk about foods, of course, it's all the process. Even if it's dirty, it's still nice, and you want to eat. If you think about the pineapple, if you just see the pineapple tree, how it's grow, even the pineapple gonna be um, dirty. Yes, I think you seen pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. Go, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a uh, grow like this, not high. Grass, yeah. yeah, like a uh, grass, correct. And the mango, even it's like you see the dirty mango. Still gonna be attractive when you clean it, you know. But if you well, think the problem, the problem, I guess, like all the fruit and vegetables now, you don't know what chemicals they put in the farms so they grow them. So it's a, it, yeah, it's already another question. Yeah, it's probably like ninety nine percent of food what on the market is not suitable for eat. Like then, all all of the like uh, pickle stuff, all of the big biscuits, bakery. That's why it has so much like preservatives yeah. and chemicals like. And the, when you start to read all of this stuff, like all oh, them, that's why you have it. to eat like another fruit. Like you have to eat the food, but it's naturally easy to grow here, and it's good if you eat the food. At least you can peel the skin off. Let's say if you take banana, banana is naturally growing in Taiwan. You don't need to use any chemicals, and also have a thick skin, so actually, you can actually peel the skin need, off. Actually, you need because you have more, a lot less. of different insects. Have a less, less. Let's say less already. Less, maybe, yeah. But vegetables, I feel it's not natural to grow your veggie, and that's why, yes. like, because we living in the commercial world and everything, like, more about the money, this is a problem. But yeah, if you can find a decent organic food on the market, like people sell them themselves, what yeah. they grow in their garden, it's like cool. Yeah. What yeah. I try to find, but everywhere it's not that easy. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, um, and I come back about the, like carnivore and vegan. And if you think about, if you just think about the steak, you know, when it's already done, yeah. it's, it, it looks, looks very good. good. It but, smells if good you, yeah. but if you just ask uh, this person who eats the steak, all right, can you, can you kill the cow? And can you just do all the process? I don't ask you to eat it raw, yeah? Can you just kill the cow? Cut it, everything like this. And then um, drain the blood, all the stuff, and then cook it and still eat it and enjoy it. Some people say yes, you know, but it's gonna be a very small percentage. Most of the but people do don't want to see it. you know, it's really popular now. Some like raw food is people who eat raw food, but they yeah. eat raw meat, raw eggs, yeah, raw fish. A very, very small it's amount. Small of them. amount. I met few uh, here in girls and guys. They said, yeah. 
Uh, they just uh, put in a different like uh, vinegar or different kind of stuff or melt it or yeah, yeah. It, uh, mix it and eat it. But know, they can, it's can if they're gonna, yeah, it's really dangerous. No, they already see the pink kind of meat already nice and uh, sliced, but they don't really. Uh, have you ever smelled the real meat? Have you ever been on the place yeah, where they yeah. kill? My grandma, she same. stayed in a uh, village. Same, it's same. not even a countryside, in a village. So I remember that smell. There was a lot of, lot of farms with uh, pigs and cows yeah. here, so I know. I remember that smell of the meat. Maybe it's not it's attractive, not attractive for you, but it might be attractive for someone, you know? Yeah, yeah that's maybe the difference. That, that's what I, may, I, I say, like, for me, I listen to my body. I know it's good, what I do, I know it's good for me. So if the small percent of, of the people who eat raw meat and they're really attracted to the kind of smell and they can handle all the process, I, I respect them. But yeah, I, the, I'm not one of them. It's yeah, not attractive for me, but it's yeah, per, per, per personal choice, actually. But it's how many percent from, I think it's going to be like, like Two, three percent, maybe five. No yeah, yeah, it's no. really interesting statistic. Probably we may need to make some statistics online. But usually people like uh, more arguing and like try to I don't know blame other people like oh you eat meat you don't eat meat whatever. Like see, I really don't care what people eat. It's my personal opinion yeah. and my choice, and you can choose what you want. So. I'm oh. like really flexible about it. Normally I don't say anything, only when the people start to ask me and then I uh, first I very gently explain that oh this way is better for me and I'm not gonna say anything bad about like carnivore diet. Normally I just say oh it's enough for me to eat plants. I feel much better like if I eat only on the stay in the plants. You're not one of the person like hi I am Alex and I am vegan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I feel like when you put so much, let's say about this uh, movie, Game Changer, yeah? Uh -huh. And um, it's a good movie, but I think they put, uh, they start to make fight with the carnivore diet and put, like, uh, if they just say how good is it, a plant-based diet, I think this movie is going to be more successful. But you know, I think the if you take the movie psychologically, maybe it's idea of kind of meat production you know uh, because i see it like a bit commercial project like for push forward the production because you know how many people have their farms and all of this meat industry so how much money involved and no one want to lose it so basically advertisements will be always push forward it's my personal opinion so i might be wrong but whatever yeah, but for me, I, I wish more uh, vegans, of course, because um, all this farming and then to produce, like, it, it, something is from this movie, it shows it's very good because to produce one kilo of meat, you need so much water and space and also the food to feed. But actually, if you grow some kind of, especially fruits, the farm, it doesn't look bad, you know? And also, like, uh, I, you need less water and less space. and of course it's well if you do it this organically you know if, you know if yeah you not put like yeah, some but hundreds of years ago the animals just eat everything around and people just hunt them and have more fields and so on like yeah, in, yeah. in new zealand we have a lot of grass a lot of fields so how do just feel free to grow compared to asia let's say yeah, but um, it's not not enough. This kind of uh, meat is very expensive and it's very little amount. But the meat what you see just a normal supermarket is gonna be from like just yeah, we don't meat. Know what we eat. Okay, yeah, and um, it's how I start to drink milk just because of uh, before, like around. 20 years ago, the milk was so much different. Milk, if you, if they sell this in the pocket, mm -hmm. and you open it, and you keep in the fridge, you drink a little bit, you keep in the fridge, or, rotten. rotten in the evening, you know, rotten in the evening. So it's the real milk. And then you can keep it, if you not open the package and you keep it in the fridge, it can last only three days. So right now, <laughs> one year. I, one, <laughs> yeah. And cannot make a cheese from it. I make a lot of experiments, try to make cheese and not get rotten. Probably it's not like toast there, no, no nothing. And you know now, like even worse. So like bad quality of food with a lot of chemicals. Probably from last century it was not that bad. Like now uh, rice from plastic, you know. 
Chinese make a plastic rice, make uh, alcohol drinks from shit, real, from human or maybe not human food. Yeah. They make alcohol and after make beer with powder and so on. And what else? I even heard, I, I tried, even I tried fake eggs, I cannot recognize it from the real one. Fake milk made from some black, I don't know, substance and this like real milk you will never recognize so fake or not but i heard short one so now in china they want to make uh, fake fruits i have no idea how it might be possible maybe they genetically grow it or whatever fake fruits that it not fit my mind but yeah technology is growing so fast now it's maybe that's why people prefer buy uh, food on market with leaves and barks and everything because you see it's natural yeah but i used to live in china for a while it's been 10 years ago and there's a lot of artificial products there and um, everything yeah also in thailand it's kind of uh, better like in u.s it's also a lot of artificial products when i eat the fruits in u.s fake seafood yeah. Better even don't know what it is. Like, uh, okay, crab sticks is made from uh, fish waste, from what's them? Liver, and digestion system, fish, yeah. So yeah, it's still fish, it's still not so bad. Yeah. Same like food for cats and made from waste of chicken or whatever, it's not that bad. But some of them is just uh, chemicals, gelatin, uh, oil products. Yeah. Like, oh my God, probably. I don't want to something come to my body, yeah. So I think the idea for not poison your body, no chemicals come inside, like from Hinduism tradition, it's make pretty much sense. So how, how long you do the yoga now? Not that oh, long. I um, I was started interesting maybe like three, four years ago. I just do... Oh, so you're supposed to be an expert already. Yeah, I do some... Um, Hatha yoga? No, no, I just practice some poses. If I see some nice pose, I don't do a whole routine, you know, uh, when you throw from one position to another one in the class. So you missed the point. Uh, yeah, okay. but, uh, yeah, but I just um, like to like do stretching because um, I did a sun man job before and I have uh, some kind of injuries in my body and it's made me feel better after I do stretching. Yeah, and that's why, but the whole routine in the class I don't like. I like to do by myself. I like to stay in this position. You don't want to push yourself a lot? Yeah, I like to stay in like certain position as much as like, I enjoy it, you know. And basically it's just done for the like, stretching. So it's balance your body. It's very important because uh, if you're doing workout, uh, if you need like agonist and antagonist muscle. So if you do some, some muscle, you know, you have to do like opposite muscle. If you do front delt, you have to do on the back. Also, if you do biceps, you have to do triceps, chest and back. You have to do it equally strong, you know. So if you do like, if your chest too strong, you're gonna be uh, like sway back. You're gonna be always curved in the front, you know. That's why you have to make your back strong. Same for any muscle in your body. You need the balance and also uh, you need same um, flexibility on the muscle and it's yoga is gonna really help probably will cover all the questions yeah. today yeah but it's i think the idea of the yoga when i made some classes with the uh, old people uh, it made them make me suffer a lot actually uh, right. but you know after you feel better because all of this uncomfortable bending it makes some kind of influence on your inside organ and after same like after the run you realize oh i feel a bit better and repeat again yeah so i prove it so yeah. did you try to do the meditation? Usually yoga, you start with develop your body and after come to develop your mind. Mm, I, I don't know how to do I do some kind of thinkitation, you know? This, thinkitation? You know this kind like of thing? Like old, old, old philosophers, like a classical one? I, I don't know. Ancient Greece? I don't know what is it. Thinking. Yeah, it's um, basically what I do sometimes I lay down and I trying to also like thinking about something good and my body is actually between sleep, you know, it's unconscious mm -hmm. actually. And um still cover time? Yeah. yeah, it's it's recorded. It's cool. It's make me recover when I kind of thinking by way down and my body just stunned. 
And this kind of uh, tenkitation with maybe 30 minutes is giving me the same amount of sleep as uh, like 3-4 hours. Sinkitation. But I think it's kind of like meditation. It, it's from tinkitation. You, 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 think. But yeah, but you just consciously you make kind of mindset. Yes. Yeah. I don't really know how to do it. Maybe... Uh, so you can make your own way. Because now people make like so many different kind of styles. I know what to focus about. Brain. Because they say the first you have to focus about your breathing. It's easy as yeah. I, but I don't know. Sometimes they say like you have to focus while breathing, and then also like when something thoughts come in your mind, it doesn't give you. It's supposed to be not affect any your emotion. It's kind of you looking on this uh, outside. Yeah, just floating. It's equal, yeah, and but I couldn't do it. You know? <laughs> I, I give a lot of explanation about that and meditation. Uh, concentration, visualization, visualization, dreams, yeah, 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 all of them is not the same, but everywhere you need to stop your soul, it's just for let it go, yeah, same yeah. like um, mindset, so you do the kind of program. So, your syncitation, what you said, uh, basically, you can uh, focus on something and give the, your self program. So, basically, like you call it mantra, 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 yeah, yeah. when you repeat certain things over and over again, yeah, so yeah. basically, it's like was written in a sport psychology, like years, self hypnotize. So mm, also. Uh, self programming. Self programming. Same, yeah, same. Many it's traditions different. is different name. So you yeah. just repeat it like, okay, I can do it, I can run like, longer, it's, uh, it's easy it's for me, I can lift good. it, feel no weight. So no. probably you heard many times like, okay, I feel no weight, it's really easy, and guy like yeah, lifting yeah. 400 kilo and so on, like it's really late, it's really small for me, and so on. It's very good because, like, it's also I'm using this in my uh, diet and fasting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're doing fasting, it's very easy because if, like, if you really feel hungry sometimes, and if you just think, oh, I feel hungry, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feel hungry. Yeah? Uh, 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 no, no, it's not about. Uh, it's me, uh, if you're thinking that um, no, you, you feel hungry, it's, uh, <laughs> but you can persuade yourself no, I not feel hungry. No, I just say it's good for me. You know, like because uh -huh. like your body kind of recycle yourself. Okay. So, so it's you persuade yourself it's good for you. Yeah, if you, uh, you say that, oh, I'm going to eat, no problem, it's very good for me, and you drink water, uh, something like the same, like, for me, the food right now, like, people ask me, like, why you eat, like, only vegan, and if it's that healthy, and for me, it's more, also, like, I believe in this, that's why I feel it's uh, good for me. Yeah, any know? beliefs will works for you? Yeah, and, um... I just recommend the people if they eat fish or something that try to if they even eat meat, try to stay out of the processed food. You know, if you really feel like you need the meat, at least try to cook it by yourself and don't buy so much processed food if you want to be healthy. And if you want to change your life and try to be like so many people say that, you know, I just have a normal life. I drink sometime. I eat whatever. You know, I wanna be. Um, like you, you know, just uh, and I say to them like you have to start yeah, just, step by step. Yes, make small changes. Small if changes. you change everything in one day, probably you will struggle a lot and you will miss your normal life. Yeah, but yeah, if you yeah, make yeah. small no, changes, no, no, no. you get okay when you jump into it. Yeah, it's same like if the person, uh, let's say, was in the age of 40 or 50, uh, who's 40 kilo is like Big close stress. to 100 pounds. It's not about the stress, you're just asking this person, okay, you was like for 40 years you've been so fat and it was, it was okay for you and right now you suddenly start to change your mind maybe probably this person after a few years they change the mind again and they just like for them it's a challenge to lose the weight you know they just like i mean after when they reach their like the shape of the one but from other know. case you know if you're 40 years been overweight probably you have a serious problem with health and you want it or not, you need to do something with that. So yeah, basically, maybe like already. a few, few calls, yeah. But I saw so many like old people in gym who looks like really amazing, like, oh damn. Like when I will be 70 or 80, I want to look like that, yeah. you know? They like pretty cool motivation. And people smiling, they have a lot of energy, you know, like probably even more than some young people. It was quite cool. Yeah. Uh, for my genetic, like uh, my, some people even don't have to do anything, you know. For my genetic, I, I have to do a lot, you know. I have to work out, uh, I have to eat very clean, you know, I have to rest enough. Maybe uh, some people, they smoke, they drink, but it's 
very, very small amount of this kind of people, you know. Yeah, but I, I heard the story. Oh, you know, I'm uh, drinking last 10 years, like once per week and smoking a bit and whatever, and I'm still look good, look, I'm like 40 or whatever. But what if you not drinking all that time and not smoking, How you might be looks even better. Yeah. That, that, this is what they expect yeah, from but, me. But, but you know, it's another story. Some people in the 25, that looks not that good. Yeah, so yeah. some. Uh, probably I want to make some interview with other models just just in case for they see the uh, the differences or maybe will not see any differences. So people like age almost forty, it looks amazing. They look like the same twenty five, high energy level, so on. But yeah, it, no one afford like go and uh, drinking every weekend or so on. It's no day off from a gym, but you have like much more. Uh, opportunities for your body, and you have a really good benefits. By the way, you, do you feel do you feel special compared to others? Mm, not not feel special. Sometimes I feel like maybe I have a little bit more information. You but know, basically, but I, I'm pretty sure it looks much better than your sleeveless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but to, uh, I not as really long feel... as long as I know you, you always looks like pretty much cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, it's not like I feel better than someone, but sometimes I feel that certain things I have more experience and I have more information and I also really interesting, like every day I try to research something new and uh, also I teaching the people that it's like when you, you have to do some kind of like physical activities, mm -hmm. uh, not just to get in the shape, you know, because a lot of the our body create to move and do some activities, you know, it is like 100%. It is not created just go in the office every day. You can be very really successful in your job. You go every day, just drive the car to the office and uh, sit all day long, come back home, have a dinner. And when you eat healthy, it's, it's still not good for your body. You need some certain physical activities. Also, it's creating, um, it's make your brain stronger. You know that uh, you asked me before about also about pumping. Why I work out that much? Uh, like with, yeah, and uh, it's make your brain st uh, stronger. That uh, sickness in your body that you cannot control. You know your hands is shaking. Normally people gonna have it 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. and also boxer normally gonna have it too because you get a lot of punches. Parkinson, you mean? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. kind of disease. So if you're doing uh, not only every sport, you know, if you do rugby, it's a lot of also damage for your brain. I mean, if you really do that kind of uh, sport when you're trying to think about and using the right muscle, you're gonna prevent your body, like yourself, from this kind of diseases because your always body gonna create this new connection. Yeah. And this is very safety, important. So it's, first. it's not only uh, about to like fitness it's not only about to make yourself more like hard leaner wherever you gain weight or lose um, weight it's also about the prevent yourself from this kind of diseases yeah so basically only you care about your body no one else will so it's like you in charge it's your choice yeah like some people think oh i just sit do nothing and eat magical pills or whatever and it's not magical pills <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, nothing will happen. No, no, no. It's um, same like uh, Avengers or any other superhero movie. Something happens and you get the superpower. If you not do anything, superpower will never come, unfortunately. Yeah, so if you want to achieve something, you need to do something, at least. Yeah, you have to, like... For me, I try, uh, like, every day I try to research something and try to get new knowledge. And um, if I see someone on social media, they're really, really interesting. Because, like, for the stupid question, I normally, um, I don't have a short answer. Like, how you get your protein or this and that. I understand the way of the person and I just say I don't need it or something. I still gonna answer. And, um, yeah, but for myself, I I want to teach the people and um, try to help them to make them more healthier. 
try to improve something, their physique and health. So it's like an endless process of learning. So basically, as long as you live, you need to learn something, make a research, especially yeah. about your health. And sharing, yeah. Not important for you, for sure, it will be not important for everyone. So, if it's all of the shit food around or bad environment, so basically, only you are supposed to uh, find out how to get rid of it or find a better place, a better food, or whatever. I don't think so, no one will make it for you. For now, it's really cool time. We have a lot of cool bloggers and so on, so people share the information. So if you want to, yeah, information just uh, really accessible. It's everything here online, so you can find like literally anything. And probably it's our whole la our being. It's about like uh, make some experiments, test what works better for yourself, and see if you feel better or not. And yeah, you can try it at least. So why not? Why not achieve something what can make you feel better for free? Information is free, no one charge you for that. If you not hire some uh, personal trainer, for instance. Okay. We're still recording. So we're just yeah. saying, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, also like, um, it doesn't mean that like you find some blogger or some scientist and you just follow everything what they say. Sometimes uh, I uh, watching some movie, uh, of different scientists and I see something interesting and uh, I start to just make more research. It's, it's make me think and I start to do more research about this. Like let's say about this low protein diet and I, before I was trying to I was thinking like uh, why the bodybuilders most of them they look really bad if they have the highest protein because they say oh you need so much protein for your skin or you need two three grams a day but most of the time the bodybuilders even the natural one they look uh, older than the age yeah because the acid processes get higher yeah, the yeah. ages change they get yeah. really it, high acid it, it, exactly these are the new things i was just discovered not long ago it's about like low protein diet and also, the the some bodybuilders use uh, hormones that make you look older. Oh, that's and I say if, also if, about if, nature. If, if, you get, if you gain weight, you look older. Mm, and that's why I also say even natural bodybuilders, even they say like, I, I saw the people who just jump on the uh, high protein diet and then uh, just seriously in two years they get so much older. Like two years and they get way older. Yeah, like yeah I, I, six, know, seven I know. I know the same one, so that's why I wanna be even the same natural, you know, but the high protein diet. Yeah, so that's why, like, uh, always if you see something, if you uh, something interesting, you can make more research and find different opinions and different. Like, you have to always look for the facts, of course. There's, uh, some people really f uh, prove this by science. It's really very really work. And um, like same like I found different. I heard about the fasting, which maybe first time I heard two years ago. So I not just like follow some person on Instagram who did the fasting and then sharing his experience. No, I was here from one person. And then I started to make so much research on different, different, different scientists, different countries, and then I found like oh, it's very interesting. And then I heard about dry fasting, and then it's like. It's like even more interesting. No, 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 it was kind of the like opposite for me. It's like, no, come on, like people don't do this, don't do dry fast. It's so unnatural. But some, for some, it works okay. Some people just said they feel better after dry fasting. So I wouldn't say don't try. Uh, I don't feel such good from it, but maybe it will be suitable for you. You never know. Yeah, but for me, it's the best. Like I told you again, it's like if I do fasting, I need uh, some minerals. You can have a little bit like apple cider vinegar or coconut vinegar, a lot of good quality of water, mineral water, I prefer mineral water. Yeah, and of course if you do like really long fasting, uh, more than a couple of days, you can need some kind of herbal detox tea to clean your colon, so it's going to be completely empty and yeah, this is the best like for me. So yeah, you probably need a lot of different stuff. So if some girl will come to your room and see all of this detox stuff and tea and herbs and supplements, yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh, more than women have a makeup. Yeah, yeah, but... So did you found like a perfect system for you, like perfect regime you will stay in or you're still researching? Still researching for the exercises, for the nutrition? I still researching, but um, right now, yeah, the raw food, but basically, um, 
uh, yeah right now I do like raw food and uh, it's supposed to be also be high calorie raw food it's not just enough to eat oranges and uh, some white fruits like apples and a couple of spoon of olive oil or something uh, come on seeds and nuts have a lot of calories and if yeah, you yeah. eat like so mango and to, banana so this is this what i mean the, for me i needed not white fruits for me i need very uh, like uh, high nutrients and high calorie uh, fruits yeah if it's fresh fruits it's supposed to be still be like bananas fresh mango like, I, I like also the grapes then it give me really a, uh, satisfaction. For example, I gain weight easily if I eat only grains and mangoes. I get grapes. Oh, grapes. Uh, grapes, yeah, grapes. grapes. So uh, I will gain a lot of extra weight. So I try to like put some more apples, pear, whatever. It's also a personal thing. Um, yeah, I try a lot of different pro products. And uh, also, if you stay really lean, you can really see how it's worked for you. And uh, for me, pineapple, I can eat only once, uh, one day. If I eat two day, I feel good, everything good, but I start to get a little bit water under my skin. It doesn't mean it's unhealthy, but it's just reaction of my body. Uh, also for about the coconut, like coconut water, coconut protein powder is just fine. I do like one month and it feels very lean, uh, tastes very good, especially when you blend it. Uh, but if I drink natural coconut water, good quality, uh, I heard they increase your, I don't know exactly how, but it's increase your estrogen. Mm -hmm. So I can have also coconut only one day. So I can drink one day, next day I, can, I need a break from this. Because if I drink two days, I, my abs start disappear. Because of the, uh, uh, also like a uh, woman's hormones. Yeah, but I for think me, it's it's, it, it, yeah, it's very personal. I think it's, it's also really it, it's it's it depends from your uh, regime, from your genetics, from yeah. your lifestyle. So as you see, uh, you have many stuff. What might works for you, might not works for you. It's really personal. For example, I can eat pineapple twice a day, and or not twice a day, twice a week. I don't need it that much. I just don't want it, and I feel fine. Coconut. Sometimes I drink coconut like few days, like three days maybe. Mm -hmm. We feel fine, nothing, nothing wrong with the same like uh, with soy products. Some people say the estrogen level is getting same higher me, when yeah. they eat a lot of uh, soy products. I love tofu, you know, because yeah, I eat some, I didn't notice any difference. I, so I, I know it's fine. My, I really love tofu. I buy organic, I, I do it once in the while. So, once in the while, I just really miss the rice and I cook it some kind of like Indian food with um, different kind of spices and organic coconut milk and I eat tofu, so it's once in a while, but if I even eat organic tofu, good quality. And uh, the recommendation is 100 grams, but 100 grams is so little, it's just really nothing. And they, normally I'm gonna have like, kind of I'm making, I call it steak, you know, mm -hmm. the kind of piece is around 500 grams. It's a lot. It's a lot, yeah, and then it's already, uh, um, any kind of research, even the good positive research about the tofu, they're gonna say just stay not more than 100, 150 grams a day, but... They say I like, would say it's not easy to eat more than 150 grams really? of tofu. I Same like cottage cheese, I can eat 100 grams, but more than 100 grams, if you eat every day, it's quite difficult. Same eggs, if you eat like uh, every day, and your meal is 10 eggs after a few days. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you eat every day, really, so it's really not that easy. I, I try to stay with the food that I can eat unlimited and uh, actually feel good and it's good for my health and it's also make you lean. So that's why like, I can eat grapes one kilo, no problem. Manga, banana, also banana, uh, it's actually make me more lean. If I want to get really lean, why not make me lean for hundred percent sure? Yeah. So it's interesting how dramatic difference. Yeah, you might have be. to you have to know your body. And when the people uh, ask me, in, uh, like normally they gonna wrote me on um, uh, Instagram, or can you do a new plan for me? And um, I say I don't do this because I don't believe it. In the, like I cannot prescribe you something and that just about when I never yeah. been talk with you what is good for you and who does this 
the yeah. bullshitting I, you. I, I, for, I got the same, for real, same, the same story. They want to uh, just make money from you. You know, the real person is the real trainer. They're gonna just you need a lot of research. I got to make done a lot of research about what you're eating right now and how I can make some more for you and the more, yeah. whatever. Yeah, and also like how I can make your diet better. Like I does this not only for uh, vegans, for normal diet, you know. And uh, so I just basically uh, what I normally am gonna do, I do like uh, video conversation. Mm -hmm. So I just notice what the people like to eat and uh, like what the goals. Yeah, so what, I, effect, what effect it makes? Yeah, and I trying to make the changes that might to try to make the meals more healthy. Let's say they like fried chicken, I try to change uh, this for the green chicken, you know, they eat fried rice, I try to change this for like steam rice or like later on maybe it's gonna improve like brown rice or yeah. quinoa and like step by uh, step and also about the fish, everything just trying to make, don't Put so much stress and do yeah, like make it soft major, change, yeah, yeah soft so changes to make it same kind of food, make it more healthy. This is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. But if someone takes you like uh, this, sell uh, you uh, meal plan for ten dollars for one month, it's easy to find this right now on the internet. But you yeah, know, eat oats and eggs in yeah, the morning, then salad and breast, chicken fruits, with rice. Yeah, yeah many dietary. It's this dietary who works for everyone, depending yeah. how much calorie, but. It's the same story what happened to me. Uh, my friend said, okay, can you make a dietary plan for my friend? I said, no. Said, oh, why? You, you just uh, don't make want to make me a favor because said, it's really personal. So yeah. I need to like, spend the time and talk to the person to know what they're doing, what the lifestyle yeah. and so on. I can give you like any food plan, but probably the person will not follow it and it not make sense. But at the same time, I heard like many, oh, I just buy like some really cool food plan for 100 bucks. I said, Okay, but how do you know it will work for you? Like, yeah, yeah. Some people they digest a big amount of food from like from really small portion, and some people they can eat a lot and they almost not digest it. So, yeah, big yeah. difference. It's about like how much you also you can absorb like from the food. For this, some people with tolerance uh, to lactose they cannot have any milk, and some people very allergic to crazy and it's another one like. Uh, let's say you cannot drink milk, but some people cannot have a cuisine. It's a sort of kind of protein. Yeah, uh, it's like a, a dried cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Right. cheese. cheese. Yeah. So it's um, like a different, different kind of like allergy and uh, also this kind of things. Yeah, some people get really easy bulky from milk because lactose is absorbed water. So you just drink and get bulky. But some people, they really are easy to digest milk. They can drink milk, they stay lean, mm -hmm. and they gain weight on it. So it like works perfect, but it's still, it's really personal. Yeah, but milk is very addictive. If you want to be changed from more vegetarian to vegan, it's the hardest part because the cow, actually, uh, the milk is actually for the baby cow, yeah? And uh, the cow want to make the child grow very fast. So how she can make it, she can have to make the really addicted to drink this milk. And they have certain like um, ingredients in this milk that make you really addicted and want to drink it a lot. So that's why it's very hard to stop to drink milk. And I never thought about it. Yeah, you know, I, I did some, some research. So. Well, I know some people they skip from cow milk to the goat milk. It was lacto uh, lactose. No, yeah, lactose. no lactose and really high protein yeah, yeah, for right. uh, change to the keto diet. Yeah, yeah. Milk is complicated product because naturally, like when I used to uh, live in the farm before, a long time ago when I was in the age of six or seven, Actually, I was drinking the milk right from cow, you know, when the milk, the cow, yeah, sure, yeah. and they was like have their own cow because no chemical, no, but no have even much stress. I think it's a cow. good product compared to what you buy in the shop. Yeah, and he was drinking milk when it's still uh, warm from the cow. We have a special name for this in, in Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but it's, it's gonna make you gain weight. A lot is uh, like a different right now. The cow is so much if they put so much chemical in, in there and, and milk in one bottle from 100 cows 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, Maybe also, the suffer a lot of conservants, you know. I start to be uh, like the completely vegan because I don't believe in the uh, preservatives. There is a lot of preservatives. Yeah, like the, the milk. I not believe it's already that healthier how it used to be. So, because you like kind of you know, even you gonna say that. Uh, from the nature, it's not going to be from the natural farm. It's not like really uh, organic farms here, you know. Like yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. But for some milk, I done the cheese. So yeah, it's natural milk, maybe mixed with water and chemicals, but still. And also, you don't know how much some vegans they really care about the negative energy, like uh, when cows suffer. And all of the suffering, all of the negative energy after you consume, you just uh, mm. eat this meat and yeah, yeah. whatever. So it's kind of I try to get rid of. I don't know how logical it is, just I'm not really like it. It's not mine. It's just real personal. Yeah, you talk about meat, right? Meat and I don't know, even milk. So I said when I've been in uh, India, some uh, farms I visit, I was amazed. People make massage to the cows, they clean the yeah. cows, they take took the milk from cow and you can buy yeah. it straight. You pay a little bit more, but it's really, really cheap. So you can buy like a supernatural milk just right now from cow. Yeah. And it's really cool. And they have farms like in all, all of the towns. So you can ask where is a cow farm. It's everywhere because it's like mm. holy animal and so on. So similar I had in uh, Myanmar and where else maybe? Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yeah, Indian food very delicious. Just the problem they make your fat so easy. But yeah, they put like concentrate butter. It's butter called like ah, E T. Yeah. yeah, you can buy it uh, here. And I was asking my Indian friends like why they put it everywhere, because I was trying to adjust his diet. My friends was like kind of um, um, he have some extra weight. Uh, he wanna lose it. So, and I told him, like, you have to need, uh, I can teach you how to cook Indian food. And first thing, you have to stop to use this kind of butter. And uh, I asked him, like, why they use it? If he, if he says, uh, hold the flavor. So you put this butter with, like, rice or something, and then put all the curry. This can make a uh, flavor go inside and just and then make it more tasty. And it's make you really gain But weight. I think it's not problem with the ghee butter. Basically, it's normal butter, but they just boil it for keep staying longer because it's really hot. Mm. So basically, butter it's a good fat, but if you make so much thermical use, it became not that good. But yeah. it all food it's a fast carbs. It's a yeah. lot of fast carbs. I think it's a problem for fast carbs what you mm. eat over and over again. And yeah, this is a problem. I try. I always experiment. Sometimes I cook like. Uh, Maybe once in two weeks, I do um, I do cooking, but not only raw food. So I cook the rice and try to experiment. And I like Indian food, so I experiment with um, uh, organic coconut milk, and then I try to make it more healthier. So I buy the cashew nut and I soak it, and then I blend it and make cashew milk pretty thick. And then from this milk, I make the curry, and then already in this curry. I um, uh, cook the vegetables. Okay, it's a complicated uh, process. No, it, it's actually really easy and it, it's fun. And then you know that it's uh, actually very delicious and uh, very healthy at the same time. And yeah, I really like it. Yeah, same like about the uh, peanut butter, you know. It's, it's, uh, so you make it peanut butter at home, right? Yeah, yeah. I try to make it, but usually I eat peanuts raw, but when you fried it, it's already not that good fat, but for making peanut butter, if you make it from raw, it tastes no, no, no. so you can, terrible. You, you, you can do it. Uh, I do from cashew nut, uh, also cashew butter. It's make it really sweet. It's mm. a little bit more like a consistency, like a paste, mm. uh, very hard paste, and but it's going to be really sweet. So it's also like very delicious. And if you want something raw, if you want to stay on the raw diet. Yeah, like you, you have to do from cashew, and you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna like it for sure. If you wanna make it, if you like it, peanut butter, better make it at home. It's really simple. Very easy. Yeah, you just uh -huh. how, how you do it. Uh, basically, you grind the uh, 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 peanuts. Uh, yeah, when it's um, from like oven peanuts, and then it depends. Uh, you can put a little bit of sea salt, and then you just grind until the 
consistency when they come to be like a toothpaste kind of thing. And yeah, you can eat normally. I prefer to eat uh, with like dates or fresh banana. Like the best one is with uh, fresh banana. Like, that's so good. Yeah. And okay. sometimes I, I add a little bit of oils and make no, no oil. No ingredients. Oil. I try to make experiments. But if you buy some uh, peanut butter, any brand in shop, just read the ingredients. Somewhere at like 10% of sugar and they put like palm oil there. What no, make no. a products already not such good. And a lot of preservatives. If so you. just read your favorite brand, what's inside compared to what you can make at home. At home, let's say you can in add a little bit of uh, olive oil, for instance, yeah? If you make it a little bit sweeter, you can add a little bit of honey and put it in a blender yeah, or whatever. Funny. And you can add like let's say a little bit of tahini or may maybe lime juice or whatever so basically a big variation what you can do at home yeah but if you buy something in the everything in shop 99 i think now they can buy a uh, lot of fda i think if you have certain ingredients less than something like half percent you don't have to mention about this yeah. so you can actually put something and because of a small so small amount and so then like I used to buy rice from 7-Eleven and uh, I put this rice on the like I vomit up in the microwave and put it on the paper and start the oil come out and I read it just 100% rice and then like you can if you put this on the white paper you can see how the oil you know and you think like the why if the why okay the maybe uh, the put some kind of healthy oil. Uh, I don't but, think so. But how you you know what they put? If, if they lie about these just small things, maybe, maybe they, it was a plastic rice. What, you know? what else they can how, lie? How, how you know? Yeah, yeah. Like something they, because it's keep the shape for a long time doesn't make it stick together. So yeah, yeah, plastic like, rice don't make you fat. <laughs> make make your life. <laughs> yeah, make your life zero, zero calorie. Yeah, just make your uh, life shorter. So, did you make any research? Because we talk about the bodybuilders who looks older than they age. So, did you make any research? What can make you look younger? Make Mostly you... people. Yeah, a lot of people they focus like how to stay good forever young and so on. But yeah, any models I know, the, like the, they the age over thirty. They look really, really young. Yeah, it's the main research that I try to do because, like, like I, it, it's main topic. You know, people what they want to look like first, they want to look young, and they want to look healthy and fit and sexy. You know, look so, good. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you want to look young, and uh, you have to really care about like. Uh, your own hormones in your body is supposed to be in balance, you know, like your thyroid hormones, also like different kind of um, like insulin, uh, pro hormone, IGF, everything supposed to be like your own testosterone, supposed to be everything supposed to be in balance. And to keep this in balance, uh, you have to support with the food. You know, you have to eat right food. That's what I talk about. Um, maybe even some healthy products better don't eat, like tofu and uh, coconut. So it's high also, like when you do high uh, protein diet, it's affect your kidney and kidney also produce uh, very important hormones. Also high, uh, yeah, high trans fat, it's uh, affect your liver. And it's also affect your uh, producing your hormones, yeah. For me personally, uh, iodine is not good. Like people, I, like when I post on IG something with the sea salt, I was like always commenting that oh, pink salt better, pink salt better. They yeah, pink salt better for you because they have iodine. But for me, sea salt better without iodine. Uh, and how they make sea salt, they evaporate the uh, water. So the, like kind of the maker uh, kind basically of basically it's have like a few yeah. process but mostly they put it through the chemical process of chloridin what makes salt not so good so basically yeah. most of salt we can buy on the market cheap one it's not really good that's i buy a good brand is. yeah that's why i i always um i i, I know sometimes i overpay but for the salt i buy uh, good salt and uh, yeah, you need the salt per day Gram. Yeah, but so. iodine, salt is iodine, like even I buy the same brand, 
let's say, and the salt gonna be contain like I say you're dying, I start to gain weight, you know. Because for me, I don't need to say, oh, you need for your right like, thyroid hormones, but for me, I don't need it. Uh, for me, I don't yeah, need to. Yeah, it's really personal. Yeah, it's really personal, but it make like big, I think, um, big changes on your like, health and. Also, you don't need, um, uh, they have uh, some vegans who don't eat nuts, they're really against nuts, but I think um, our body needs a lot of fat. So, I, I know many people who don't eat nuts because yeah. they have chemicals in the nuts, so they eat uh, seeds and beans instead mm. and drink uh, like oil, coconut oil, whatever. Oil is not a natural product, oil is essential, very concentrated. Uh, better is when the product comes to be like more natural and also the it oil. is super natural, yeah. Uh, I, I can have like uh, one like fact, like I used to buy before uh, I go to a supermarket and uh, I like Christian nuts and I noticed that they have a real like big nuts where it very beautiful like right? Christian nuts mm -hmm. and they have a crush one so like by the process of the mm -hmm. separation of the chill. And I always, I always buy the, those on the broken one because I was thinking, oh, come on, I just can grab it and eat it like this. I'm going to save like half of the money. Mm -hmm. And I buy and they have a stomach problem. And that's like, like okay, I have a something problem with this cashew nuts. And when, just last week, first time, I tried to buy this one beautiful cashew nut. Mm -hmm. And I buy it, come back home, I eat around 200 grams. Feel perfectly on my stomach. Nothing. And then I realized that when the actually uh, nuts is crushed, the oil is very oily too. Like it, the oil is come out, and the oil um, when they con uh, connect with the oxygen, it start to be like not good oil, especially when sit for like maybe two years. So this oil already come to me not good. So this is the problem about uh, oils. Yeah, if they uh, mix with the oxygen. This the products already are different. If, if you just make the real oil in front of you, you know, and then you drink it, it's one thing, you know. But when it's sitting in the bottle for two years, and of course some oxygen they get there, you know, and it's not like a vacuum there. And so, yeah, this super healthy, you need make a lot of research. But yeah, but I think the main problem is not about uh, oxygen come to the oil in the market. 99% products in the market is shit products. Yeah. Uh, because they not squeeze the olives or peanuts or whatever, or coconuts for taking oil like they make it 100 years before. Now they put it in the benzo, it's a chemical process. Uh, yeah, and yeah, all the rough, refined oils, they yeah, yeah, benzo, for, and then evaporate the benzo yeah, from this really and make it bomb. Drink it. But same, I travel quite a lot and I saw these uh, farms, like old styles, and they squeeze it and take your oil, and it tastes nothing compared to what you buy at yeah. a supermarket. Like literally, I take peanut oil, almond oil, what else? Uh, pe uh, peanuts, coconuts oil, sunflower oil, and it smells amazing, it tastes amazing, and like totally different. But and you can easily recognize it. Usually it's never clear. It has a lot of uh, dirty things and it's not clear oil. It's like not even transparent. And have unique taste, really fresh. And yeah. all these others is a good product, but not easy to find now. But it's not easy to sell because it's get rotten much quicker. It's no preservatives there. And much more expensive. Yeah, and maybe you can store it maximum for one year, but not like for three years. Yeah, some people really care about the price. And um, majority of people in Europe food cost expensive, I'd say. Yeah. Compared to Latin America or whatever. Even in Russia food costs quite expensive. Yeah, right now the to, to the salaries compared to Asia, let's say. Price. I mean just as if compared to the salaries. Yeah. And yeah, low price, usually low quality. So yeah, if you wanna be fit or healthy or good looking or want to stay much younger than you are, like let's say 20 years younger, yeah, they're all the same thing, absolutely the same one, like your activity, your nutrition, what you eat in your environment, your mindset, how you mentally feel like, so yeah, all the... It's no magic pill. No. All, yeah, all the similar it's stuff. Magic. Unfortunately, if someone proposes you buy a pill for feel better, Maybe ecstasy is real, but if you want to lose weight or something, it's no magic pill, unfortunately. 
Yeah. And it's not about like trainer who force you. Like, I all at the time feel it's like I need someone to force me. You know, okay, when I'm not looking, what you gonna do is then you know it just need someone uh, to teach you. I always say like I want to find someone who know a lot of information more more than me and can teach me something good. Yeah, that's like if you're gonna looking for the trainer. Yeah, you just don't need a kind of strong person who just like force you do your limits. And uh, it, it, it depends from your goal. If you want to go and take your first place on a boxing competition, so probably you will need someone like that. It's always depends from your... Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, this, uh, this is already sport, but if you just talk about the sport, uh, like how an activity, uh, yeah, um, yeah, you, you need someone with uh, a lot of knowledge and who can teach you how to live like your life more healthy you know all right yeah so it was quite interesting conversation thank you very much for you, like share your experience your knowledge what we will compare with uh, other athletes so it will give you the more idea uh i don't know what regime you want to choose or what dietary you want to ski but yeah whatever you decide you need to try by yourself first Okay, so I hope it was really interesting for you. Stay tuned and we'll see you next week. Yeah, stay healthy.